Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm giving you an update on what we've been working on lately here on the channel. Um, and we have spent the majority of the weekend rebuilding our daily bugle. Um, so what you see here before you is actually two full sets um, of the daily bugle combined into one. Um, I actually have, I've got a third set up there, um, but unless we change this design up, pretty drastically. I don't think we'll need the parts from number three. Um, so what we've been able to do is add two full-size floors to the building. Um, we kept the two smaller floors on the top um, and then we have one full empty room here and then we have uh, this room here behind the news displays on the front of the building. Um, these were Kind of just some of the parts and stuff that belong in this room. Um, what I'm more than likely going to do is just go ahead and take everything out of here and do a custom interior. Um, so that way we don't have two of the matching um, floors. So um, we did add some custom, or not custom, I guess it is custom work, but um, these are actually stickers from the original Daily Bugle set. Um, we also have this one here on the side of the building, which runs into this one here. So all of those are from the original Daily Bugle set. Um, so we also added one to this floor. Um, so in Spider-Man's office, we have that plaque there um, of a bunch of different photographs of Spidey. So I thought that kind of looked good in Spider-Man's office. So other than adding some of these details, um, from the original Daily Bugle set. Um, we haven't really changed much from the original design. Now, like I said, we will be adding a custom floor here um, and a custom floor here, but I can tell you what we did change. So on this side of the building, um, normally this section here has a playability feature where you can pull part of the wall off. We just closed that in, made it solid. Um, and then on this side of the building, Normally in this section here, you have red fire escapes that run all the way down. Um, so we went ahead and closed that off um, and put regular glass all the way down. Because on a regular skyscraper, you're not going to see bright red fire escapes coming off of there. So we went ahead and did that. We also tiled um, all the way around. Um, we've got some more tiles here. Uh, we just haven't. Um, got around to finishing that off yet. We added a couple extra dumpsters there. Um, and then on the top section here with the water tank, we actually added an extra layer to that. Now, I, I may want to, I have one more of these wheel sections so I can make it a little bit taller, but we do need to change the Technic rod that is in the water tower right now. So that may be something that we do um, a little bit later. But as it sits right now, this is going to be how we're going to display our Daily Bugle Tower um, once we put it into the city. Um, our city is going to be all on Mills plates. So we have built out a Mills plate here. And this is the standard way that you would build it. Um, we did it with just black plate. And then we have the Technic bricks. Um, eight of those. Uh, two on each side. Then you have the um, two by three bricks here, and then the two by two bricks to support the plate the rest of the way around. Um, so there's tons of different ways that you can build mills plates. Um, but I haven't really seen anybody talking about it. But you can, if you have some of these art plates, you can actually throw one of these art plates on a base plate, and you can perfectly line that up with your mills plate. So if you have any of these extra art plates, and you are doing a mill system in your city, these work really well for placing buildings on. Um, they're very, very solid. And the price of one of these, um, so you would need four of them plus a base plate, the price to purchase four of these and your base plate is like 10 bucks. So you'll be able to get um, a, very, a cheaper mills plate than you would if you were to be ordering individual parts. So... Um, just throwing that out there. I haven't seen a whole lot of people mention that. Um, I also haven't watched a ton of videos on suggestions of Mills plates, so that information is probably out there somewhere. But 
as it sits right now, this is our daily bugle. Um, we may in the future uh, make it a little bit wider. Originally, that was my plan was to stretch it out um, and do six windows wide on the front. But what that'll actually do is we kind of looked at the stud layout, and that will take oh, that will take the um, width of the building. Like there will be hardly any alley on each side of it. So I'm assuming that's probably why they didn't do it for this model. But we've got to fill our stickers in in a couple of different places. We're going to finish these floors off. And then where Green Goblin is bursting out the front of the building like that, we're going to do something very similar on the side on a different floor with Hobgoblin because we have a different glider. We have the Hobgoblin minifigure. Uh, we're going to do a very similar build. So they look the same, um, but we're just going to do it on one of these three panel sections instead of four. So that's our plan moving forward with the Daily Bugle. I hope you guys um, liked this video. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button, and we will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.